Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Risen 3 Titan Lords. I am the R Engineers, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we got introduced to our main character and to Patty, which um, is must be a different Patty because she has a much different breast size from uh, Risen 2 and Risen 1. Well, okay, there's been a um, um, uh, stagnating growth about those because in Risen 1 they weren't actually... Uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about something else right now. Um, we started out in a dream sequence of our main characters and um, we were attacked by a ghost... Sh not, the ship was the only thing that wasn't ghost about that situation. Like, uh, by, by a ghost captain with a zombie crew and a giant dead thing in the water with bone wings and um, it was a dream, like I said, that was the tutorial sequence and we woke up out of that. And we're now looking for loot on this island. So we're going to do uh, some looting. I'm going to continue onwards. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet. So I hope I'm going to be able to find out. Okay, I can see that Patty really enjoys her heavy attack. Ow! Okay, secondary weapon is probably a smart idea here. At least this one doesn't miss. Ah, I, I... Look, there's something over there. Looks like a dead pirate. Something. Just as I thought. We're not the only ones looking for the old temple. You should take a look. Maybe he's got something of use. Maybe. But maybe these dead... Uh, right there. Yeah, I'm not blind. Raw chicken drumstick. Later, maybe. Ah, that's how I get a closer later, look at maybe. you. Later, maybe. Yeah, probably later. But you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Uh, that's a pirate. All right, let's just jump over the wall. Is it faster to jump? Most likely not. Gold, cheap liquor, pistol, dead pirate's treasure. Select a quest, then use the set map marker option to mark it on your map. Okay, a uh, race against an unknown opponent. Damn, someone raced Crab Coast before us and is also trying to find the location of the vast cache of treasure. We need to hurry if we don't want to get too late, uh, get there too late and find that everything's been plundered before we even got here. And dead pirate's treasure. A dead pirate at Crab Coast carried a treasure map. On the map, a particular location on Crab Coast has been marked. I bet that b he buried his precious possessions there shortly after they got him. I can see the location of the treasure on my map. Too bad I don't have a shovel, so I obviously can't do that right now. Well... So... I have a sea chart. I control that with my... and um, locks. Nope. How do I... No. Ah, he's no. So... I can move here. How do I adjust the zoom? I can move that with a D-pad? Ah. Okay, makes sense. Does it, though? Probably. I want to be all... I want to be zoomed out. This doesn't tell me... Actually... And this is a pretty good map. This is a pretty good map, and obviously that's supposed to be that pirate's treasure. That's pretty good. Okay, what else do we have? We have an inventory and we have character. Uh, melee 50, ranged 60. That sounds pretty good. Cunning. Influence. Oh, we get a rating. Neutral, chaotic, and good, I guess. Or righteous. Who knows? We have spirit, we have magic. Only 20 in magic. It costs glory to upgrade your levels, but um, the higher it is, the more it costs. I get that. This costs 10,000 because it's already at level 60 and this only costs 1,500. What skills can we do? In order to learn skills, you need to find the right instructor. I get it. Piercing weapons. Proposed Shadow Hunter. Inflict extra damage when combating demons. Huh. We're gonna get introduced to all this, but... I would 
like to know what I'm doing. Cunning is of course pretty good. Wait. Theory. Theory is nice. Sneaking. I can do that right now. Silver tongue. I'm gonna need that right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait on that a little bit. Master thief. I'm gonna definitely need that one. You know what to do. What? You just know what to do. Your pickpocketing talent increases by plus 10 per level. I like pickpocketing. Haggling, eh, I'm gonna, in the end of the, it, like, at, at the end of every action RPG I've ever played, I was stinking rich, so haggle might not be the thing I really want. Monkey trainer, yeah, yeah. Safe cracker, oh yeah. Okay. Look at the map. And let's see where he buried his stuff. Uh, he hasn't been there long. I reckon he hid his treasure somewhere close. Yeah, probably. I wish I really did bring a shovel, right? Right, though? Man, if we had a shovel, we could even dig that up. Is that a Marky Berry? <gasps> Those still exist. They exist. That's nice. But if that was a Marky Berry, there's got to be poker mushrooms as well. I'm going to be stoked when I see one. Okay, the pickups are kind of visible, kind of, if you know what you're looking for, but I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. Uh, you're a ghost dude. You were what was that? a ghost dude. I felt as if... there. Just then. You know you have... you have dialogue, dude. That was clearly the guy from your... your nightmare? A ghost captain? Is that a dinosaur? Be careful. It looks dangerous. Well, well, that's quite some detective work. How do? Why do you think it's dangerous? Because of the sharp claws on its hands? Maybe the sharp teeth? The evil look? The fact that he's eating a corpse? Or the sheer size of that thing? I don't... I don't think that thing is dangerous, actually. Like, why would you th say, ah, ah, it's dangerous, all right, oh god, oh god, okay, that was half my health, good. Okay, I get it, that thing is dangerous. Can I repost, or can I, uh, defend indefinitely? So, first of all, shoot that thing. Okay, that's not working. Dragon Snapper. That thing is not as dangerous as you said it was gonna be. Dragon Snapper, that's a cool name. Later, maybe. Oh. That's what every girl says to me, too. Later, maybe. Probably not. Oh, gross. Well, oh, wh why do you always have to touch everything, little brother? Oh, yeah, this situation. I'm apparently this Patty's brother. This is definitely a different Patty from the previous games. Didn't mention that in this a episode. Temple. Hmm. I wonder what happens when you pull that lead. Yeah, I wonder. There. You pull it. New quest, pull the lever. But the treasure! It is just a little temple, right? Ah, these ruins will hide many secrets. Yeah, very well hidden ones. Many secrets. I can't even count here. Whoa, look at all these secrets. An old book. No way. Thunder rolled through the valley, and the earth shook as I approached the large gate of the ancient temple. Only my blunderbuss provided me with some protection against the wild creatures of the jungle. Hmm. If a mage wrote this, he left long ago. Um. I. I didn't listen to a word he said just a second ago. I was kind of, um, I was kind of trying to pronounce an apology there. Um, I might be a little inconvinced yet. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be loving this game in, in 50 episodes. You know that perfectly well. But the last action RPG I played was Risen 2, and this is vastly different from Risen 2 so far. And, um, you know, change isn't exactly something that humans love. It's something that humans can live with, and it's something that humans definitely need in life, and that they experience through their whole, well, life, but, um, you know, I'm not easily convinced, and I'm gonna have to read that book again. I know that already. No! Don't do that. Don't do that to me. 
Okay, note yourself, pay attention. Gold crystal torch, consumable. I don't like that one. Skills, crystal magic. Effect duration, this scroll creates magic crystals that illuminate your surroundings. I love scrolls. All right, that temple wasn't worth my time at all. We got three gold out of this, three whole gold. Gotta believe it. And we are walking in the wrong direction. Wasn't there a path over here? Sure was. I was distracted by the dragon snapper though. No predators, enemies. A shovel. Someone must have buried something here. But what? What an idiot. What kind of idiot? I don't even want to think about what kind of idiot you need to bury a treasure and put the goddamn shovel right next to it. And then paint the ground with a red cross. That's the, that's the worst. That is the worst part about that whole scenario. Um, that is not a consumable or uh, something that I can pick up. Golden clover is nice. Is that a gold pouch? That's a bag of gold, actually. Fifty whole gold. That's more than was than there was in that ruin. Maki berries are just provisions in the end, but they sure sound nice. I received a shovel, and now I can dig up a treasure here. What do you think? Four whole gold? Maybe seven and a bottle of rum? This guy was a rich dude, you know that. Excellent. Now let's see what's here. What? That's... That's... More than I was expecting. Why do you give me so many achievements for this? Great. But I'm sure that's not even half of what we could find here. Do you really think there's some great treasure hidden in that old temple? Just wait. Soon we'll be rolling in gold. I bet. All right. I probably can't shoot those birds, but not with my little gun. Uh, let's look at the map. I had the wrong buttons. Why is that zoomed all the way in? We could go straight or we could go straight. What do you mean? There is no path behind? That's a dead end. Ah, that's what you're trying to tell me, isn't it? This has to be a dead end because there's no, no passage on the map. Or it's just a loop. With a big monkey statue and some bugs. Okay, fancy. That's just a loop. Okay. Alright, I can dig that. I can. I'm down on health. I probably should eat a couple of provisions. We can't cross. We need a bridge or something. Have a look around. There must be something we can use. I mean this old thing? The rotten tree will make a perfect bridge. Huh? Don't you think we can just jump that? I mean, it's only 20 meters. I can probably do that. Can I try a couple times? Like, look, I can I can jump two. It's almost a tenth. I can maybe jump three. Man, we're basically almost there. So what you're telling me is I just need a couple of explosives? Or what? It doesn't look particularly stable right now. I wouldn't step on that tree if I were you. But uh, if you want to, you go ahead. I still have some looking around to do first. Some idiot probably left a couple of bombs here to easily um, get that thing moving in the direction I wanted to. Bag of gold. That's not what I was looking for, but that's still good. You know, I have a mouth too, but um, that's quite a gaping hole. 
you've got in your face there. And that's what you call mouth? That's a big mouth. That's a that's a big mouth. That doesn't look particularly healthy. You could, should probably see a doctor or I, I guess a shaman about that. Okay, let's touch the tree and it magically falls over. Why? Yeah, my 5 a.m. alarm is ringing at, at, at 5, 10 p.m. That's fair. Okay, I magically touch it and it falls over. I magically hit it. Powerful hit it. Nope. So, rot... What? Yeah. I should shut up for a second here, otherwise I'm gonna be... I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be so happy about it, how this goes. But let's say that's realistic. Well done. Let's move on, dearest brother. That's gonna take some getting used to. Okay. Gotta be honest, I was a little sweet on Pat in the last game. Uh, I'm gonna have to rethink that one. Ooh, a skull. Ooh, a knife. Received one knife. Can I butter something with that bad boy? Maybe equip it even. Uh, I have a dueling pistol, and that's a normal pistol. Mine is much better. Can I equip a knife? No. Nope. That's... That's... I can... Not equip the knife, but it is a butter knife. So that part was right. Golden clover. Kind of looks, looks like Crow, doesn't he? Captain Crow? You remember him. He woke up an Earth Titan in the in the last one. We kind of murdered the guy. Took a spear. Good times. Ah, no. Damn! It looks like him again. Uh. Uh. Yeah, this looks safe. Is that a gorilla? Ruins. And you can't throw the, the dif uh, different em enemies in my fa pl place or in my way all the time. I have to, I have to adjust here. I'm not good at adjusting. I usually need one patter to beat a guy and then uh, have it work. Oh god, he's angry. What if I... Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah, comboing does not work against... What? Lady, why are you stronger than me? I'm the one who pushed over the the, the one-ton rotten tree there. Is that that's a torch? He didn't drop anything. Unfortunate. Ooh. Ooh. Goo! Goo! That jump. That scared me. Can you equip your fucking weapon? Thank you. You know, I really like this thing where I push the X button and my character attacks. He does do that and I am... I'm not being a nice person. I'm not being a nice person. Ooh, a silver plate. I'm gonna eat another provision here. Some fish. That's provisions. Tankard? Tankard. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Not worth talking about. All right, that was a quote-unquote secret area. Those are monkeys. And that's a bronze plate? No, 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 no. It's a gold pan. And that's a bunch of single gold, wow. Well, compared to that bag of 1,100, um, that, that's not good. Just... Just saying. Just putting that in relation right now. You know, I always loved monkeys. To this point. You throw poop at me? He's throwing. He's throwing poop at me. There's an... Oh, good lord, man. That guy's crazy. Yeah. Fucking 
Today, only monkeys live here. Blacksmith's hammer? That sounds good. Um, did none of these monkeys drop anything, okay? Well, whoever lived here, they had a bunch of gold, so I'm glad. Later, maybe. Yeah, that's not what I was intending, but... Is that the direction I am supposed to... I don't know where to go, actually, so might as well change that. We are on Crab Coast and race against an unknown opponent, set quest marker, and it leads us right up these stairs, so let's not. Let's finish in the quote-unquote village. Ooh! Ooh, the butter knife! The chisel, priest's mask. Ooh, nice. Spyglass? Can I use that, or is that just decoration? Now that would be dope. No. Not able to do anything with that. Chisel, not either. Priest mask, nope. Just worth a bunch of stuff, but not usable. Unfortunate. That's an apple. I thought that was a ruby for a second, but uh, not anymore. That's rum. No, evidently it's a bottle that my character is going to completely ignore. I took him for a drunker too, so he wouldn't just ignore a bottle if it weren't rum. Oh, that's a chest, and there is no hole where a ghoul can walk out of here. Um, judging by the looks of this, the broken vase and gold coins around it, I can break a gold vase and there's going to be gold inside. No. Boo-hoo. Uh, 234 gold, pretty good. Rain of Fire. Um, this scroll casts magic fire down upon your enemies. Consumable. Ugh. Two golden goblets. Hmm. A rain of fire spell. Useful for lots of enemies. Useful for lots of enemies. Um, parrot flight. Consumable. Turns you into a parrot. I don't like consumables because I suffer greatly from the too good to use syndrome. Um, if I have a choice in the matter, I will end up not using the consumable. If I can not use the consumable. So that is kind of unfortunate. There's iron ore here. Um, there is a shovel indicating that someone was shoveling, but I guess they were just shoveling the iron ore. I guess. I mean, that's some seriously deductive um, skill set that I have access to there, but um, seriously, I think that's what that was. <clears throat> yeah, someone took their sweet time building this kind of ladder. Whoa. Do we want to be up here? I mean, that's a yes, but that's also an I don't know. Uh, before I continue my exploration of this area, though, I will definitely go to the wrong menu screen. And I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that I will see you around. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.